Hello, I'm John Richards, a retired science teacher who can't stop, and I've discovered YouTube, so I make shows. Every week I trawl the internet for news and I produce Global Atheist News. Here's the introduction. <laughs> I also make a show called Free Thought Hour, in which I chat to people, and I'll talk to anyone. It doesn't matter, they can be a celebrity, they can be an, a non-entity, <laughs> they can be male, female, gay, straight, black, white, I don't care. I just like chatting to people, and here's some of my previous victims. There's Lawrence Krauss, everybody knows him. Kat Arney is a science presenter. Dread Pirate is a campaigning pastafarian. Bruce Garenza is an escaped pastor, as is Ashley Flieger. And Paul Thompson is a, a long-time skeptic. Richard Carrier, an, a, a Jesus denier. <laughs> Daryl Ray, Dr. Daryl Ray, is the founder of the Recovering from Religion Foundation. Addison Billing does research into how babies think. Professor Sophie Scott is in charge of the neuroscience department at uh, London University College. Clive Aruadi is a humanist uh, celebrant. Susie Maidman is a doctor at uh, National History Museum in paleontology. Uh, Andrew Copson is the chief executive of Humanism UK. And Fernando is a singer from Brazil. Ex-Christian Aaron is another escaped Christian. Professor A.C. Grayling is the founder of the New College of Humanities. Rosalind Mould is a member of the, the Committee of Humanism International. Catherine Roberts is another escaped pastor. John Steigard was the former chief singer, lead singer, of Hawk Nelson, the Canadian Christian rock band. Nuria Khan is an escaped Muslim. She's a very brave young lady. And so those are some of my victims. Now I'm always on the lookout for her people to help me with these projects. Presenters for Global Atheist News. I've had some in the past, but the trouble is they get a new job and they don't have any more time. And victims to be on my show. Everybody says they've enjoyed chatting to me and would come back. So I'm not threatening. And it's showcasing the guests and any of their products too. Finally, we start next week, that's on the 3rd of April 2022, with a new show which is called Global Atheist News Review. Unlike the news itself, which is meant to be impartial, just delivering the facts, this show is where we have opinionated people commenting on what happened last week. Here's the intro for this. You'll notice that it's the same intro with a little bit added. Here it comes. Review. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my shows.